Hello, hello, Instagram Live, Facebook Live, coming at you from my bedroom. I'm Ariel. Welcome to Yoga Between Two Ferns. Go ahead and grab your mat if you need something to sit on, like a pillow or a block or a rolled up blanket. Go ahead and grab that. We will start seated today. Thanks for coming. Hey, Ashley. Hey, Peggy. Keep it coming, and um, we'll stick to an hour. We'll start a little slower than we did yesterday. I needed to get all the wiggles out yesterday, so thanks for sticking with me on that. But um, we'll get started in just a moment. If you have any feedback, if you have any problem hearing me, let me know by writing in the comments. And when you're ready, just take a seat. I'll go find my perch as well. Just one second here. All right, welcome. I am Aria Leon. Have a seat when you're ready. Today's intention is just to give ourselves permission to do one thing at a time, right? Multitasking, it just allows you to do multiple things lousily. So we're gonna focus on just the breath right now. So please take your hands to your lower belly, somewhere below your belly button. Close your eyes and breathe way deep down into the belly, inhaling, feeling your belly expand into your hands. Exhale, feeling your belly retract. We'll just take three more breaths like that, inhaling into the low belly, expanding. Exhale everything out. Again, breathing and holding on to the low belly, feeling the belly expand. And retract. One more breath, just like that. With this intention of focusing all of your attention on one thing at a time. Just focus on this low belly breath. Now we'll move the breath up into the ribs. Crisscross your forearms like you're wearing a straight jacket. Then place your hands on your outer ribs. Feel your rib cage expand into your hands as you inhale. Feel your rib cage retract as you exhale. Focusing on just that, breathing into your ribs, inhale. Almost like the hands can press the rib cage together to press out the breath. Try that again one more time. Oh, fill up the breath even more. Take your hands on top of your chest, just one stacked on top of the other. And now breathe in, feel your chest lift up into your hands. Breathe out, feel your chest drop down. Another round, inhale, fill up to the chest. Exhale, let the chest drop, the ribs retract, the belly deflate. One more, inhale into the chest. And let your arms relax down by your sides and just take a few breaths with your closed eyes, trying to fill the whole volume of your body. So from the belly to the ribs to the chest, fill up. From the chest down to the ribs, down to the belly, exhale. It's two more like that. We call this dirga breath, three heart breath. Expanding your capacity to breathe so you can expand your capacity to live. With a healthy respiratory system, be grateful for that. Now feel free to open your eyes, swoop your arms wide to the sides, look up, feel your hands connect over your head. Exhale, draw your hands together in front of your chest, Anjali Mudra. Reverse the direction of your flow. Inhale, sending your prayers skyward. Exhale, rainbow your palms wide down by your sides, chin to chest at the very end of your out breath. Again, inhale, expand your palms wide, look up. Exhale, hands into heart, breathe out. Inhale, extending tall from your hips to your fingertips, reach. Exhale, arms wide, down by your sides. Now lean to your right, 
with your right hand down on the ground, lift your left arm up and overhead, breathing in. Exhale, come back up to vertical. Use your whole exhale to stack your ribs over your hips and then go the other way. With your left hand on the floor, lean to your left, breathe in. Exhale, rise back up to your seat. We'll go side to side two more times. Lean to your right, inhale into your left lungs. Exhale, coming back to center. Other side, leaning to your left, breathing into your right lungs. Exhale, back to center. One more, each way. Lean and breathe a little longer. Exhale, to rise. Last side, leaning to your left. Exhale, back to center. Now stretch both arms over your head again. Inhale. And twist to your right. Place your left hand on your right thigh. Your right hand can come behind your back, to the floor, or on your spine. Sit up a little taller as you inhale, and then twist a little deeper. Look over your right shoulder. Exhale. Breathe in as you unwind your spine. Reach your arms up over your head. Look up. Exhale, twist to your left. Right hand to your left thigh. Look back. Sit up a little taller as you breathe in. Twist a little deeper as you breathe out. Inhale, unwind the spine back up to center. Just go side to side. Exhale, twist to your right. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, twisting to your left. One more each way. Inhale, rise, arms overhead. Exhale, turn your chest to the right. Inhale, coming back up. Exhale, twist to your left. All right, now that we did our six movements of the spine, go ahead and come forward onto your hands and your knees. Find a tabletop. You can move your pillow aside, stack your wrists underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips. Good. And then take a cow pose as you breathe in, lift your chin, look up. Exhale, press and round, hug the belly in. Do that again. Inhale, broaden through your sitting bones, lift your chin. Exhale, press, curling the tailbone under. One more like that. Inhale, look up. Exhale, look down. Now inhale, stretch your right arm to the sky. Exhale, weave your right arm underneath your left arm, but don't touch the floor. Just hover really close with your shoulder, with your ear. And then do that again. Inhale, right arm lifts. Exhale, right arm twists. One more time. Lift your right arm to the sky. Inhale. Exhale. Weave your right arm underneath your left arm and rest the right side of your head down on the floor. Walk your left hand forward. Fingertips on the mat. Press down with both knees firmly. Shift your hips to the right just so you can stack them over your kneecap. And then breathe from your tail all the way to your extended arm. Feel what's on the floor. Push down with the back of your right hand and see if you can look up a little more. Threading the needle. One more breath. Go ahead and pull your left hand back onto the mat by your face. Inhale as you unwrap your right hand up into the sky. Breathe it high. Then switch. Lower your right hand to the floor. Inhale. Lift your left. Inhale. Exhale. Hover left arm under right. Don't touch the earth, but get close. Inhale. Unwind. Left arm high. Exhale. Weave it through. Hover. Inhale, unwind. Now this last one, reach your left arm underneath your right arm. Rest the left side of your head down on the floor. Walk your right hand forward. Shift your hips to the left. Stack them over your knees and breathe. Good. Right hand to the floor. Unwrap your left arm. Breathe it up. Exhale. Root your palms down. Loop your shoulders back and down. And then walk your hands forward. Extended puppy pose. So the hips stay on top of the knees. You can take your forehead to the floor. Maybe your chin and chest. Just open up through the front of your heart. Three more breaths. Now slide onto your tummy. 
Place your hands on the mat by your shoulders. Rest your forehead on the floor and just feel your pinky toenail spiral to touch the floor. Lengthen your tailbone towards your heels. Exhale. Now breathe in as you lift your forehead off the mat, lift your chest, loop your shoulders down your back and see if you can hover your hands. Feel your shoulders squeeze together and then lift just a little more. Awesome, relax, exhale, forehead towards the floor. Scoot your hands back just a couple inches so they're underneath your elbows and we'll set up for the up dog. So spiral the pinky toenails down, lengthen through your tail. Inhale, lift your head, lift your heart, lift your hips and thighs. Keep a micro bend in your elbows. Feel your shoulders squeezing together on your back and try to pull the floor back as you look up. One more breath. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your hips, hug your belly button in. We'll take five breaths here, however you want to take it. Whatever your body needs during this midday stretch break. Do what feels good. That's all I'm doing. Give it one more breath. Now lift your right leg up into the air, breathe in. Bend your right knee so you can open up your hip. You can do a fan kick or circle around the knee. Just try to keep your shoulders symmetrical. One more breath. Inhale, straighten out through your right leg. Exhale, bring your right knee to your nose. Hug your belly button in. Shoulders over wrists. Inhale, re-extend three-legged dog. Exhale, coil in. Touch your nose, navel in. One more time, kick your heel to the sky. Exhale, step your right foot forward between your thumbs. Now you can grab your blocks here or just have your fingertips on the floor. Dip your left knee so it hovers just an inch above the floor. Roll your shoulders on your back, look forward or look up. Now exhale as you pulse your legs straight. So lift your hips, straighten out your legs and drop your head. We'll go back and forth a few times. Inhale, bend both knees. Sink into your hips, look up. Exhale, lengthen your legs, look down. Three more rounds. Inhale, get low, look up. Exhale, lengthen through your hamstrings, relax your crown back. Last two, just mobilizing the hips, inhale. Exhale, to lengthen. Last lunge, come back into it, inhale. Now lengthen through your legs. We'll hold it here for five breaths. Go and walk your hands back so they're underneath your shoulders. And then push into your hands a little more. Think about lifting your right toes, your right ball now. So just the right heels on the ground. That feels good? Great. Keep it. Ground through the heel. Pull the heel back. Just isometrically. And then soften your chest down. Relax the back of your neck. Three more breaths. Awesome. Lengthen through your arms. Lift up. Exhale. Bend into your front knee. Keep that left hand down on your block or the mat. Twist. Right arm lifts. Inhale. Relax your shoulders back. Hug your lower ribs in. Turn on that back quad and glute. One more breath. Twist, twist, twist. Release your hands down. Move your blocks aside. Step it back to the high plank pose. Inhale, up at the top. Exhale, chaturanga. It's a tricep push-up. Hug your elbows in as you lower down. Lengthen your tail. Squeeze your knees. Inhale, pull your heart forward. Roll your shoulders back into up dog. Exhale, lift your hips into the sky. Belly button and downward facing dog. Deep breath. Awesome. Lengthen through your left leg to the sky. Bend that left knee. Open up your hips. Add a knee circle or ankle roll. Just do what feels best. Do your best to level off your shoulders. One more time. Now straighten up through your left leg. Inhale. Touch your nose with your knee. Exhale. Shoulders over. Prance it back. Three legged dog. Inhale. Coil and touch your nose. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Stretching your left toes high. Exhale, big step through. Add the blocks if you like, or just the fingertips on the mat. Bend the back knee, lift your chest, lift your chin, breathing in. Exhale, lengthen both legs, drop your head. Inhale, shift forward, sink low in your hips for four. Exhale, lengthen this pyramid variation. Breathing in, shift forward for three. 
Exhale, lengthen your legs, drop your head. We'll see two more. Inhale, look up. Exhale, lengthen. Last one. Return to the lunge. Now we lengthen and hold. Stretch long through your legs. Walk your hands back. Curl your left toes up. Press your heel through the mat. And then soften down. If your knees are a little bit, it's all good. Just see if you can support yourself with your hands. Even if that means you got to bend them a little more. One more breath into that left hamstring. Drive the left hip back one. Good. Inhale, looking forward, sit up for your twist. Right hand stays down, this time left arm lifts. Shoulder shrug, pinch a pencil between your shoulder blades. Keep that right shoulder from creeping in by your cheek. Scoop it back, retract. Keep your left big toe on the floor, pull your left hip back. Charge up that right quad and glute. One more breath. And release, left hand to the mat. Inhale, step back, high plank. Now these push-ups are always optional. Exhale, if you're moving through it, bend the elbows. Inhale, coming through up dog. Exhale, take it home, downward facing dog. Breathe first. Inhale, rise onto your tippy toes. Look at your hands. Bend your knees a lot. Now walk or hop lightly to the top. Feet hips width apart. Halfway lift when you get there. Hold four. Grab opposite elbows or any variation you want. You can lace your hands behind your back. Take a hold of your head, maybe. Give your neck a little massage. And sway side to side if that feels nice. All right, relax your arms down, bend your knees, roll your spine all the way up into standing. Hey, Katie Page, keep your shoulders back, palms facing forward. Just close your eyes for a moment. Notice if you're swaying at all, forward or back or side to side, try to find that perfect stack of your bones, the plumb line. Standing at attention with attention. Exhale everything out. Let's dance. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, dive forward, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands to mat, step or float it back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward dog. Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. And a smooth breath out. Inhale, lift your heels, look up. Exhale, bend your knees, walk or pounce. When you get to the top, halfway lift. Exhale, fold back in. Inhale, come all the way up. Hands to heart, completing round one. Two more to go. Inhale, Utita Tadasana, reach up. Exhale, lift your heart, Uttanasana. Inhale, extend halfway up, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, hands to mat, step or float it back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha, up dog. Exhale, Adho Mukha, downward dog. Nice deep breath. Smooth exhale. Inhale, lift your heels, look up. Bend your knees. Hop, spring to the top, use the power of your legs, halfway rise. Exhale, dive back in. Inhale, all the way up. Hands to chest. One more, just like that. Inhale, extend, prayer overhead. Exhale, fold in, chin to chest at the end of your out breath. Halfway rise, heads up. Hands to mat, step or float it back. Plank to chaturanga on the breath out. Squeeze your knees the whole time, but your leg muscles hold your legs up in space. Downward dog. Take that deep breath. Let it go. Inhale, heels rise, look up. Bend your knees, step or float. 
halfway lift. Make your big toes touch this time. Exhale, dive. Inhale, rise. Hands through the heart. Exhale, hands by your sides. Take a shoulder shrug. Let it go. Inhale. Chair pose. Exhale, sit back. Take a breath in, hands forward in front of your chest. Exhale, twist your right hand back. Inhale, return to center. Exhale, left hand swings. Inhale, back to center. A little deeper in the knees, do it again. Twist to your right. Inhale, unwind. Twist to your left, exhale. Take it back. Again, a little deeper in the legs, twist to the right. Inhale, unwrap. To the left, exhale. For those obliques, one more set. Exhale to the right. These are transverse abdominals. Exhale to the left. Awesome. Arms by the ears on this last in breath. Exhale, fold forward, lengthen your legs. Halfway lift, breathe. Hands to mat, step or float. Chaturanga is a choice. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, take it home. Take a few deep breaths. Exhale. Two. All right, now, similar to what we did before, inhale, lift your right leg to the sky. Exhale, touch your knee to your nose one time. Inhale, re-extend your right leg high. Exhale, step your right foot forward between your thumbs. Hover your left knee an inch above the earth. Look forward or up. Lengthen both of your legs. Exhale. Now inhale, coming back into your lunge. Breathe in. Look forward. Rising into high lunge. Exhale. Grounding down into the front big toe. Take another breath in. Now exhale, hover your left knee. Swing your right hand behind you like that twist we just did. Inhale, unwind, arms by the ears, lengthen through your left leg. Two more, exhale, dip the left knee, twist your right arm back. Inhale, unwrap. Exhale, dip and twist to the right. Inhale, unwind. Now this time, dip and twist, hold it here. As you reach your right hand back, pull your right hip crease back. As you reach your left hand forward, press your left hip crease forward. Dip your left knee a little deeper, lengthen your tailbone. One more breath. And inhale, unwrap your arms by the ears, lengthen through the left leg. Exhale, hands to the earth, step back, high plank pose, breathe in. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog. We'll go straight into the other side, left leg to the sky. Touch your nose, hug your navel to your spine. Inhale, kick it high. Exhale, slide your heel between your hands. Look forward, dip the back knee, inhale. Lengthen both knees, drop your head, exhale. Inhale, come back into the low lunge. Use the exhale breath to rise up. The abdominals automatically activate. Inhale, deeply. Exhale, dip the right knee, swing your left hand behind you, twist, twist, twist. Inhale, unwind. Exhale, to dip and twist to the left. Inhale, unwrap, arms by the ears. Exhale, hover the right knee, swing your left hand behind you. Inhale, unwrap. Now dip and twist to the left, hold it here this time. It's like you're your own puppeteer. As your left hand presses back, so does your hip. As your right hand presses forward, so does your right hip. Then dip the back knee a little lower, lengthen your tailbone, lift the front of your waistband. Maybe the eyes look back at that left thumb brown, the left big toe, one more breath. Nice. Unwrap the arms by the ears, lengthen your right leg. Exhale, lower your hands. Step it back, high plank pose. Choose chaturanga or knees, chest, chin, or skip it. Come back home, down dog pose. Of course, you can choose child's pose instead as well. Take one more deep breath. And then we'll flow through the sequence and add on at the end. Here we go. Inhale, lift your right leg. Exhale, touch your nose. Inhale, kick your right leg. 
Exhale, gracefully glide your heel between your hands. Hover the left knee, look up, breathe in. Lengthen both legs, look down. Inhale, bending into your knees, look up. Exhale, coming all the way to high lunge. Pause to the in-breath, create that height. Exhale, dip your left knee, swing your right hand behind you, twist, 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 twist. Inhale, unwind, arms by the ears. Exhale, warrior two, spin your left heel to the floor, stretch your arms wide to a T. Pause here. Sink into the right knee. Ground into the outer edge of your left foot. Turn on the left quad, the left glute. Send the right shin a little farther forward. Reach your left hand a little farther back. One more breath. Now go ahead and lengthen through your right leg. Lift your right arm up over your head. Sway your hips towards the front edge of your mat as you lean back. One more deep breath. Good. Come up through standing. Keep your legs straight. Triangle pose. Reach your right hand beyond your right toes. Pivot your right hand down. You can place it on your shin or your block or your thigh. That left hand can be on your hip or Reach it up for the sky. Roll your shoulders back. Hug your lower ribs in. Lengthen through your tail. And breathe into that left side of your waistband. Triangle pose, trikonasana. This is one of my favorites. Give it two more breaths. And then we'll turn it into side angle pose. Bend your right knee, slide your right forearm to your right thigh. Guide your right knee open with the help of your elbow. Maybe that left arm comes alongside the ear. Maybe the right hand reaches a little lower for the floor outside of your front foot. Another deep breath in. Now look down. Place your left hand on the floor for side plank. So keep the left hand down. Pivot to the outer edge of your left foot. And then the right foot can stack on top of the left foot. Or you can pick up that right big toe and lift it up towards the ceiling like when we did triangle pose. Feel the left leg strong. Turn on the quad, the glute. Feel the shoulders squeeze on your back. Now the next pose will be wild thing. So take your time, step your right foot behind you, turn your heart upwards towards the ceiling, feel your left shoulder blade roll down your back as you reach through your right fingertips. One more breath. And then flip around, three limbed plank pose, right hand lands, right leg floats, inhale. Three limbed chaturanga, exhale. Inhale through up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pause for a breath, grip into your hands like your gecko, suction cup to the floor. Other side, stretch your left leg to the sky. Cut your knee to your nose, exhale. Kick your left leg back and up. Exhale, step your foot between your thumbs. Love, hover the right knee, roll your shoulders back, look up, lengthen both legs, relax your head. Inhale, return to your lunge, looking forward. Use the out breath to rise up, high lunge, exhale, exhale, exhale. Stay for the in breath, find that lightness, and then we twist, hover the right knee, swing your left hand back behind you, twist, 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 twist. Inhale, unwind the spine, arms by the ears. Warrior two, right heel to the ground, fan your palms wide, pausing here. This intention of doing one thing at a time, just continue to refine your warrior two. Exhale everything out. Inhale, straighten your left leg. Lift your left arm up over your head. Let your hips sway towards the front edge of your mat. 
Turn on the quads, and from your left toes to your left fingertips, fill it with breath. Inhale as you rise up through center. Reach out beyond your left toes for triangle pose. Left hand to the shin, the thigh. Don't worry about how low it goes. Right hand to the hip or straight up to the sky. Be here now, three more rounds. Continue to refine your posture. You are a sculpture carving out those details one breath at a time. And then side angle pose coming your way. Bend your left knee, left elbow to thigh perhaps, or left hand towards the floor outside of your foot. Try not to compress your left hip crease. Lift the left hip bone off the thigh bone. Drive more weight down your back leg. Get the right ribs open and the left knee open. Three more breaths. Gazing down, place your right hand on the floor, side plank. Spin to the outer edge of your right foot. Choose if you want to pick up that left big toe or stack your left foot on top of your right foot. Stack your bones and squeeze all your muscles to them. I always think about squeezing that right knee, turning on the quad, the glute. Shoulders pinch on the back body and then look up. <laughs> Two more breaths. And the wild thing. Step your left foot behind you. Turn your heart up to the sky and your shoulder back. All right, flip it over. Three limbs plank pose. Inhale. Three limb chatter on the exhale. Upward dog. Breathe in. Downward facing dog. Breathe out. Take a breath. Let it go. Two more. Inhale, come forward into plank pose. Exhale, slowly lower your body to the floor. Squeezing through your knees, hug your elbows in as you descend. And whenever you land, extend your arms back by your sides. Have your palms facing up so your fingernails are on the ground, just like your toenails. And then feel your pinky toenails spiral to the floor, your inner thighs spiral to the sky. Lengthen your tailbone, exhale. Now begin to lift your head Roll your shoulders up and back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and then fly your arms and then fly your legs. Big toes together, spiraling those pinky toes down like your pigeon toe. That internal rotation creates more width across your low back so you can back bend safely. Use the inner thigh muscles. One more breath. Lift, lift, lift. Exhale, relax. You can turn your right cheek to the mat and just breathe. Listen to your heart beating through the floor. Slow it down by slowing down your breath a little more. Round two, option to bend your knees and reach back to catch your feet. Narrow through your knees, lengthen through your tail. Exhale everything out, forehead to the floor. Inhale, lift your head, lift your chest, Kick your feet back and then lift your feet up. Narrow knees, long tail. Inhale, exhale. Three more. Two. One more big kick, breathe in. Exhale, release, turn the other cheek. All right, tuck your toes under, squeeze your knees strong and straight, take your hands to the floor underneath your shoulders by your rib cage. exhale everything out, forehead or chin on the ground, inhale high plank. 
Stay for the breath out. Take another breath in. Exhale, downward dog. Lengthen your back body to counter stretch. Lift your right leg to the sky as you breathe in. Bend your right knee, open up your hips. Maybe take that left elbow to the ground, the forearm to the ground. Just to lean over a little more, get into the inner thighs. Now lengthen through your left arm again as you extend through your right leg, inhale. Exhale, right knee towards the right elbow. Step your foot outside of your right hand. Bring your left knee to the ground. Roll your shoulders back and down. And then we'll add a quad stretch if that works for you. Reach your right hand back. Bend your left knee. And first, just kick your foot into your hand like we did in that bow pose. Open up through your right shoulder. Lengthen through your tailbone. And then pull your heel into the outer left glute, using the strength of your bicep. This is when I start talking to my quad, saying receive, receive, receive. Some of you might be able to take the left elbow to the ground as you do this stretch. I like to bend my elbow and perch my head up onto my fist. One of my favorite poses. One more breath. And let it go. Take your hands back onto the mat. Heel toe your right foot in between your thumbs. Half splits. So we did a lot of those pyramid variations with the pulse. So the hamstrings should be pretty warm. If you want to make it full splits, just go slow. Drive your right heel farther forward. Tuck your left toe. Scoot your left knee farther back. If you're in this version, a higher one. Think about that left thigh bone being vertical and the hypotenuse you're creating along the right leg. Press down through the heel, press out through the tippy toes, folding in. If you want into the full splits, come back into the half and we'll hit up the IT band by turning the right toes open to the right. So find the external rotation of your right thigh. Try to get your pinky toe to touch the floor. So the whole knife edge of your foot is on the ground and then try to pull the floor back with your foot. The right hip crease is farther back than the left hip crease. You can walk your hands over to the right so they're on the right side of your leg. And if those left toes swivel off your mat to the left, all good. For more intensity, you walk your hands out on the diagonal so your left cheek can get closer to your right shin. All right, coming back around this center, framing your leg with your hands, tuck the left toes, lift the back knee, and then thread your right leg through your arms all the way behind you into three-legged dog. Exhale, bring the right foot to the floor. Now lift the left leg, breathe in, stretching all the way into the right leg. Here's where we bend the knee and open up the hips, and maybe the right forearm or elbow touches the ground, just to get a little more lopsided, asymmetrical. Cool. Now stretch long through your legs, your arms, and then left knee towards the left elbow on the way to lizard pose. Foot outside the hand. Hands can be on blocks. If you're not doing the quad stretch, you can fold right in. Otherwise, reach your left hand back for your right foot. Kick your foot into your hand like bow pose. Open your heart. Keep your heart open and bend your elbow. Talk to the quad. Option to bring your right elbow to the floor. Maybe make a perch for your head. Explore whatever feels best. Three more breaths. One more breath. 
All right, half splits is where we're headed. Heel toe the left foot in. Shift your hips back. Stack your hips above your right kneecap. Look at your left toes, see them spread wide. Imagine you're standing on something in front of you on the tippy toes, so there's a 45 degree angle in your foot. And then the quad turns on, a little bend in the knee, you hyperextend. If you did the full splits, go for it. Otherwise, we're folding in, left cheek inside the shin. If you ever anticipate your jaw is about to clench, just breathe out instead. All right, now here's where we get into the outer thigh. So if you're in the full splits, come back into the half splits. Spin your left toes to the left so your pinky toe can touch the floor. And then pull the floor back by pushing down with the outer edge of your foot. Now the hands can travel over to the left side of your left leg. You just swivel your right toes off the mat. Just pause. Make sure you feel the sensation. Breathe into it. If you feel any pulling in the knee, add a little bend for more. Walk your hands on the diagonal. Left cheek, sorry, right cheek towards the left shin. Spin it back around, hands framing the front foot. Tuck the back toes. Lift the back knee. Weave your left leg through your arms all the way back behind you. Three-legged dog, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Take your knees to the floor and then rise up onto your knees, keeping your toes tucked under. We'll come into camel pose. Ustrasana. Place your hands on your lower back. You can have your fingers pointing up or down. It really just matters what's working for your wrist. Lengthen your tailbone towards your knees. Lean your hips forward. Relax your shoulders back. Lift through your heart. Lean back. Feel your elbows magnetized towards one another. Your shoulder blades supporting you as you lift your heart and your traps supporting your head as you let your head relax back. Long through the neck, one more breath. Inhale as you roll your heart back up. Untuck your toes, sit your hips back onto your heels or onto a block or onto a pillow. Relax your arms onto your thighs. Close your eyes. We'll just take a few breaths. Imagine the back body expanding. Now from here, you can swing your heels aside and have a seat. If you're practicing your jump through well on quarantine, you can go ahead and grab your blocks, set them up on your mat underneath your hands, tuck your toes under like downward facing dog and lift your hips. Now if you don't have blocks, you can do it with your fingertips on the floor like a claw. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna lift the heels, we're gonna look up. We're gonna bend the knees and then hop the feet through the blocks, hop the seat through the blocks and then lower down. All right, I'll do it again with you. If you want to give it a try, hands to blocks, feet to the back of the mat, lengthen through your legs. Inhale, look up, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees. Spring through, have a seat. And then you can move your blocks aside. Take a twist from here. So bend the right knee, pull it into your chest. Place your right, hand, right foot outside your left thigh. Right hand behind your left arm up. Twist to your right. Start to 
unwind your twist as you breathe in, and then take a brief counter twist as you breathe out to the left. Switch when you're ready. Straighten your right leg. Place your left foot outside your right thigh. Inhale, sweep your right arm up towards the sky. Hook or hug your arm around your left thigh. Grow tall for your spine. Look back over your left shoulder. Unwind, breathe in. Counter twist to your right, breathe out. Come back to center. Place your hands behind you. Send your legs long in front of you. Sit up tall and then reach long overhead. Little bend in the legs. In and fold in half. Go slow. Use your core. Control your descent. Hands can land on the shins or the ankles or the feet. Pull your shoulders away from your ears. Elongate through your spine. Soften it. Exhale everything out. Inhale, come back up to a seat. Slide your hands behind you. And then we'll come into an upside down plank pose or a tabletop. So you can keep your legs straight if you want to come into the upside down plank pose. Lift your hips, try to touch your toes to the floor, or bend your knees, feet on the mat underneath your knees. Upside down tabletop, lengthen through your tail either way. One more breath. Exhale, lower your seat back onto the mat. Shift more weight into your hands. Shrug your shoulders down your back. Lift your heels. Lift your shins, boat pose. Now you can stay like this, or you can free up your palms in front of you, alongside your shin. We'll add a little bit of a pulse. So as you breathe in, bring your knees closer to your chest. And as you breathe out, lean back. Maybe the forearms come to the ground if you have your hands behind you, or your arms reach forward as your toes extend. Now inhale, rise back up, knees towards the chest. Exhale, go back down. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower. Inhale, get high. Exhale, get low. Three more. Keep squeezing your feet together. Imagine one leg is holding up the other leg. Last time, lift up. Now stay low with your low back on the mat. Take your fingertips to the floor by your sides and then lift your heels up towards the ceiling as you inhale. Hover your heels an inch above the ground as you exhale. A few more of those. Feel free to put your head and shoulders on the floor for more ease. Exhaling as you lower, big toes squeeze together. Inhale, lift the heels right over the hips. Keep your hips on the floor. Exhale, hover, hover, hover. Three more. Exhale as you lower. For ease, you can also bend your knees, too. Last one. Now stay with me. Lift your feet up one more time. Inhale. Bend your knees, take your feet on the floor so your knees are bent and your heels are underneath your knees. Exhale everything out. And then a little for the booty. Lift your hips and your hands up over your head at the same time. Ground into the big toes and the heels. And then on your breath out, lower your hips and your hands to the ground so they land simultaneously. Do that again. Inhale to rise. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. On this last one, lift everything up. And then only the hands come down. Arms by your sides on the ground, or interlace your hands behind your back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Dig your elbows through the mat, lengthen through your tail, narrow through your knees. Press the floor forward, lift your chin skyward. Now stay here, or build your bridge into a wheel. Place your hands by your ears, fingertips pointing backwards toward your shoulders. Come onto your tippy toes for a moment so you can take your crown to the ground. Pausing there, roll your shoulders back and down, narrow the knees and the elbows, and then lift your head up. Push into the tippy toes, reach your heart forward, and then maybe the heels come back onto the mat. 
Press your big toes into the floor. Use your inner thigh muscles. One more deep breath. And then we come down. If you're in bridge, release your interlaced hands. Roll your back to the mat. Those of you in wheel, tuck your chin to your chest and the back of your head comes to the floor first. Keep your knees bent. You'll toe your feet wide and just let your knees sway side to side. And the next time your knees are pointing over towards the right, keep them there. And then place your right ankle on top of your left thigh. Try to press your left knee towards the floor. And then the left hip bone can lift towards the ceiling. And then your left arm is going to reach up over your head. And hold on to that left wrist with your right hand like you want to pull your arm out of your socket. So you can think about the left knee pulling forward, the left arm pulling upwards overhead. Just stretch that whole left side of your waist as you lift through the left hip. Three more breaths. The so was. Sweet. Uncross your right ankle. Keep your feet wide. Tilt your knees over towards the other side, the left. Then left ankle weighs down the right knee. Left hand pulls up on the right wrist. And uncross your left ankle, swivel your knees upwards towards the ceiling, and then reach inside of your thighs for your inner feet. Happy baby. Rock side to side, straighten one leg at a time. There's anything else your body is craving, give it what it needs. That's what I'm stoked about during this quarantine time. All of the home practices that are beginning. It's really when our yoga practice turns a new leaf, yeah, it transforms into what we need. Whenever you feel complete, hug your knees into your chest, wrap your arms around your shins, lift your head, tuck your nose between your knees and just squeeze everything, your face, your biceps, your feet. And then exhale, release everything down on the mat, coming into your final resting pose, Shavasana. Close your eyes, relax your shoulders away from your ears, and exhale out of your mouth. Relax your jaw, your tongue. Turn your eyes down in their sockets. mind is multitasking. Come back to our intention. Doing one thing at a time. Be here now with all of your awareness. There's so much going on at any given time. When we're truly present, we can never be bored. We witness the breath, the body, the thoughts. Just explore what it's like to be a conscious mind living in a human body, experiencing life. Thank you. 
invite you all to rest here for as much time as you need. Thank you for sharing your energy with me today. I'm missing you all and I'm missing that close to class connection. So if you are inspired, send me a little DM or a text. Tell me how it went. So I've been asked about my uh, Venmo account. It's by the same name. You're welcome to donate. But if not, no big deal. I'm just grateful to practice with you all. Whenever you complete with your practice, finish with a moment of gratitude. Just list all the things you are grateful for. I'm grateful for you. very much for joining me today. Again, my name is Ariel. The light in me honors the divine light within you. Namaste.